We are here outside of Braska Kitchen and Cafe in the beautiful heartland of Jamaica Plain, JP for short, in Boston. This restaurant is known across their menu to feature what is known as BK fried chicken. I'm really excited to have my personal first taste and perhaps best taste of fried chicken here in Boston today. So let's go in and try. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods. JC has such a vibe. Pendant lighting and industrial chic down to earth. Big greenery. Right behind me, there is a baby Yoda perched on the wall. Oh. <laughs> okay, so there's a regular Yoda behind me and I love Baby Yoda so much that I just like projected Baby Yoda onto his face. Yoda, of whom Baby Yoda is a derivative. It's wearing a Tito's shirt. An example of how quirky and eccentric this place is and I love it. We're here for brunch. Local chefs have highly recommended one dish. BK fried chicken is all across the menu. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We also ordered the sausage and egg sandwich. And then lastly, we ordered chilaquiles. Super well-reviewed on Google and super lauded by our waiters. So this is unplanned, but you get thirsty. This is made with maple and oat milk, sour plum, uma boshi. I think it's really fun that it's in a kind of like diner cup. I'm so biased toward maple slash oat milk flavors. This has got a really sweet and salty edginess. If umami could exist in a drink, it would be in this one. I really enjoy this. I highly recommend their specialty latte. Super excited for this. I really like how it looks like cornflake crispy. I don't know what this mysterious herbal topping is. I do not discriminate as long as it tastes good. I'm gonna take the biggest piece, the biggest one. There's no like civilized way to go about this. Mm. That's pretty good. Super crunchy, super juicy. Between that sweet, salty, and umami, it comes in waves. Isn't there a restaurant that has a motto like finger licking good? This should be the OG finger looking good. There's so much that I'm tasting on my finger after looking at. There's a decent amount of saltiness too, but it's so well rounded. There's so much else going on that it's just like a note on the train that I'm riding to a very beautiful place. This maple syrup for some reason is especially Huda. I think the oil has dripped into the syrup and who doesn't want their oil to accidentally drip into some syrup? If you don't want waffles, no problem. Just get the chicken. This is an excellent dish and I highly recommend it. For those of you who are curious, this is essentially like a Tower Street breakfast sandwich substitute sausage. Looks like there's plenty of greenery on here actually two kinds of green that literally might just be the loveliness of the egg we're gonna extract the sword from the stone it's a fluffy warm stone it's so easy to pick up because it's so floofy mm. the sausage is my favorite part i'm so glad i got the sausage a sausage is doing some serious heavy lifting it's like five percent of this entire sandwich but it's probably about 95 percent of the flavor lead performer on broadway if you guys have ever had chinese sausage there's an umami and sweet and salty component this has got even more depth almost like you crossed a breakfast sausage with spam I also have never had this much green in a breakfast sandwich before. It honestly feels representative of the color scheme of this restaurant. There's a lot of green here and I'm, I'm not hating it. Also, the bun. But the bun, honestly, it reminds me a little bit of a brioche Hawaiian roll fusion. It reminds me of a fancier version of like a Burger King or McDonald's hamburger bun. And usually when I mention Burger King or McDonald's, I put up a meme of like the sad clown from McDonald's.
This is not about the sad clown. A lot of people get this sandwich grab and go style. This is a much better thing to grab and go than McDonald's and Burger King. I actually haven't had a ton of chili kiwis in my life, so this might be a very defining experience for me. I'm laughing because this is already even more green. They've got some really cool textures. It feels like this isn't going to be hard to break apart. You've got a nice sunny side up egg, like a treasure of the ages. See that lovely yolk run. Always love this sight. It makes me so mouth watery. <laughs> That's really impressive. It's rubbed off all of these flavors just on this egg because it's been soaking in the aroma. A very beautiful flavor. Oh my gosh. This meat is spectacular. It's obsessively flavorful. I don't even know how to describe it. There's just like 50 million things frolicking together to make this show go on. It's all supposed to be eaten together. If you get just one bite of one thing or another, you're missing out on the whole experience. This is the stuff of the dream. Three hours later. It doesn't end. It keeps coming in waves. And they're different amplitudes. I love the flavor combo. I've been told that I've gotten into heavier, more robust flavors over the years. There is no lack of flavor in this dish. If you're into flavors, if you're into pairing the sweet and salty and tangy and slightly spicy, this is the dish for you. I think this place is just like a master of sweet and salty flavors. Everything for brunch has this like green umami, but it's always dusted with a little bit of green. The dangling vines are indicated of something deeper in the DNA of the cuisine here. And it is a good thing. Stuff your face, don't feel ashamed. Grab like three or four more items because it actually tastes quite well balanced and healthy here. Highly recommend all the yeah. dishes on this place. I would come back to try the rest of the things on the menu. I'm really a big fan of this place. I'm pretty impressed. All right, guys. We have concluded our adventure tour of Braska Kitchen and Cafe here in Jamaica Plan plan here in Jamaica Plain. I think that that was probably my favorite fried chicken I've had in Boston. I would be hard pressed to find another dish that was that amazing of a deal. $7 for two massive pieces of fried chicken draped with maple syrup. The way that it's breaded, the way that it's sprinkled with green lush decor, infused with umami like roller coaster love was quite impressive. I highly recommend breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch at any point in time. Come and try at least a side of that fried chicken. That's it for now. Wait. That's it for now. That's it for today. Thanks and bye.